In this video, I'll be giving away a Bamboo Lab A1 Mini to one of you guys, so keep watching till the end for more info. A couple of weeks ago, I saw this Optimus Prime figure on Amazon and ordered it because I used to love Transformers as a kid, so much so that I wanted to be one, but rather than transforming into a Camaro, that kid transformed into an unemployed man who's banned from the local Baskin Robbins, but that's not the point. Anyway, when the figure arrived, I noticed something strange. It doesn't transform. Yeah. I spent $20 on a transformer that doesn't transform. You had one fucking job, Optimus. Actually, two jobs you also kinda need to defeat Megatron. But anyway, my point is, I was deeply bamboozled by this chain of events and decided to make my own Optimus Prime, which is what this video is about in case it was somehow unclear to you at this point. Anyway, I wanted to make my Optimus Prime easy to print and simple enough that even Stephen Hawking could assemble it. Oh, apparently Steven ain't assembling shit. Steven dead. Very dead. Time to move on. After this, I started looking at photos of the Generation 1 Optimus Prime because he's the OG and I wanted to base my model off of his appearance. So I started designing the mechanism in MS Paint and came up with this basic prototype. It might look okay on the surface and even exactly like the real Optimus Prime if you don't look at it. And it does transform into something. But there are two major issues that I noticed with this prototype that might mess this whole thing up for me. The first issue is related to ball joints. And I'm not talking about what happens to your testicles if you wear a speedo for too long. That's that's a different medical condition. Anyway, ball joints in 3D printed figures are apparently more complicated than you might think. I thought that if the ball part of the ball joint is more or less spherical, that would be enough. So I was printing everything in upright orientation where the ball joint would not require any supports to print. But it turns out that ball joints printed like this are extremely fragile because of how the layer lines are orientated. If you apply even a little bit of force, the joint breaks along the layer lines and now Optimus Prime will never have to worry about finding parking space at the local shopping center again. Gives a whole new meaning to the phrase, Autobots, let's roll out! Anyway, to fix this, I turned the parts by 90 degrees and added some custom supports to print the ball joints along the horizontal axis. Now this does cause some issues if you're rotating it in a direction perpendicular to where the supports were because of this tiny residue left by the supports. But I'm smart. I'm smarter than most bipedal cartoon rodents, so instead of actually solving this issue, I just orientated everything in a way that nothing ever rotates along that axis, so it's all good. Okay, now that we have fixed problem number one, and let's start working on the second problem which is the hand situation. But before we talk about that, I would like to tell you that I've recently acquired an online degree in dark magic and if you don't like and subscribe right now, I will magically turn your dog into a banana slug and believe me, banana slugs are notoriously bad at playing fetch. I threw a stick in 2011 and my banana slug is still searching for it. Christopher isn't the smartest banana slug but you know. Anyway, do the right thing and like and subscribe and also keep watching for the 3D printer giveaway details. Back to the video. In the original 1984 toy line, there was something weird going on with Optimus Prime's hands. On the day they were supposed to design the transformation for Optimus's hands, the entire toy design team's collective singular grandmother died, so no one showed up to work and thus the hands they, they don't transform. Once you transform him into his truck mode, you are left with a pair of small plastic fists, which I don't really know what you're supposed to do with them. I guess swallow them with Gatorade or something, that's what I do with most small pieces of plastic I find. Anyway, after learning about the hand situation with the original figure, my obvious first thought was that I should do what the designer said with the original design and I'll be like, oh. I wanted to make this as authentic to the original figure as possible, so I decided not to use my insane engineering skills and let the hands be separate pieces as an homage to the original toy. I ran this idea by my manager and this is what happened. Yeah, so this is what I'm gonna do with the hands, it will be more authentic this way, what do you think? I'm waiting.
You know what? Fuck you, buddy. I've had enough of this silent treatment. Needless to say, Mr. Toothbrush does not work at this organization anymore. Anyway, this whole thing made me realize that people will see right through my BS, so I designed this swivel mechanism for the hands, which allows his hands to flip and turn into headlights for the truck mode. Great, we've solved all of the issues with the mechanism. Now we need to add in the details and make it actually look like Optimus Prime. But before we do that, I would like to take a second to thank my sponsor for this video, PCBWay. If you guys want to build something, whether it's electronics, mechanical components, 3D printing, CNC, whatever you could possibly need, these guys can help. They've helped me with my past projects and their services are extremely affordable for the quality that you're getting with a quick turnaround. So it's a total no-brainer if you're starting a build project of your own. They're also celebrating their 10-year anniversary right now, so it's the perfect time to check them out at the link in the description. Back to the video. The first thing I did was fillet all of the sharp edges because at this point, my fingers felt like I'd been signing daily blood packs with Optimus for a week straight. In addition to adding details to the torso, I also added things like smoke sacks and fuel tanks to the body, a truck hitch thingy to the back, and I designed the head, the hubs for the wheels, and a bunch of other stuff including his ion blaster. This is what the detailed version looks like. I printed this in single color because... Actually, I don't remember why I printed this in single color, but now we know that it at least looks like Optimus Prime and it transforms into a relatively okay looking truck mode. After adjusting a few tolerances, we are basically done with the figure, and now we can add a sprue to it and turn it into a kit that uses a lot more plastic than just the figure itself. Now before you give me shit about creating a lot of extra plastic waste that a turtle is eventually gonna choke on, have you ever considered that maybe those turtles like getting choked? No, right? Then shut the fuck up, Nat Herman. Anyway, I'm calling this Optimal Crime because I wanted this to feel as wishcom and bootleg as possible. I truly want you to feel ashamed of yourself for printing this knockoff Optimus Prime. Let's print it and test it out. Okay, after about 2 million years of printing and more poop than Kevin Hart can produce in a year, and I'm not even talking about his movies, we have the final product. Now before we assemble it, I just wanted to say that you can make this for yourself. In the video description, I've included the links to the 3D print files for the kit, as well as individual parts in case you don't want to hear a turtle softly whisper, choke me daddy. You can either get this on Gumroad or you can get it on Patreon, which is technically cheaper because you get all of my other project files files too. All of the money that you give me goes directly towards animal welfare. Okay, now let's assemble the kit. Here's what the robot mode looks like. I think it turned out better than I was expecting it to be honest. It looks more proportional than the G1 Optimus Prime toy, which basically looks like a man in a homemade truck costume. Also, it's important to note that while you're assembling this, some parts might be a bit tight or loose depending upon how your printer is set up. So you might need to either use a hammer or tighten some loose ball joints for which I highly recommend watching this video by Uncle Jesse. Anyway, now that I'm done making excuses for my poor design skills, let's transform it into its truck mode. Here's the truck mode. It is a truck. Not sure what else to say about it. This is awkward. 
Anyway, if you're one of my Patreon members and decide to print this figure, feel free to rewatch the assembly and transformation parts if you're unable to figure out how to assemble the kit. Also, you can join my Discord, links in the description, and ask questions directly in case you need help. But anyway, let's talk about the giveaway now. I'll be giving away a Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, which is the printer that I use, but you know, you won't get mine because I kinda need mine. I'll buy you a new one obviously, but to enter, you have to be subscribed to my channel like this video and drop a comment down below and a month from the release date of this video I'll be picking a winner so you have until then to do what's necessary to enter the giveaway also before we end the video a special thanks to my patreon members for allowing me to basically virtually pickpocket them and steal a crisp five dollar bill from their wallets every month if you want that to happen to you consider becoming a patreon member links in the description that's about it for this one consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more stuff like this. As for other stuff, I highly recommend watching this video next. I think you're gonna like it. See you later. Bye. You and I, we are so random. You bring the darkness to the lights, play the atom. I ignore the fact that this will never last.